Hi everybody, welcome back to Do Me A Solid. In today's video I'm going to be answering a comment question about how to create a reusable part template in SolidWorks that contains custom properties. Well, the first thing that I want to do is show an example of what a possibility could be with response to that question. So first things first, I'm going to open a new part and within this part the goal was to get custom properties so you go to the properties in my case I use configurations on almost all of my parts so I assigned it to the configuration properties but you can use this in custom and or configuration properties custom will be if you're using them for one configuration or single configuration parts and then configuration properties will be if you're gonna have multiple configurations because that is a possibility so in this particular case I'm gonna apply it directly to one configuration but these are all custom properties that I use over and over again and the point of this is that eventually you can link all of these custom properties to a drawing so we're gonna go through the steps to get you here and create that part template so that every time you open up a new part you'll be able to have these populated already so first things first we're gonna get out of the part template and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to file new now if you haven't already you can set up multiple file locations for different part templates that you create um, in this case I'm just gonna to stick to the standard template for SolidWorks and I'll show you later in the video how to apply new file locations for your new part templates with the custom properties so here we go first things first open up a SolidWorks part we'll go to file properties just to make sure that there's nothing written in here and there is no property so as you can see this is a standard template nothing filled in so the first thing that we want to do is we want to put in the configuration properties that we actually want to add so you go to configuration properties add I'm going to add my typical rev release and then I'll put part number for example and then we'll say material so I'll say MAT here okay so these are the configuration properties that we want to show up in every single part template that we create so now that we've done that we hit OK after that all you have to do is go back to file and then we go save as and this is where you find the part templates that you actually want to create in SolidWorks so you want to go to part templates which is down here hidden among all the other file names but it's the star.prtdot file that's the one that you want to use now after you do that you want to check your file location to make sure that it's ending up where you want it in SolidWorks's directory and then you can name it whatever you want so if here we'll name it custom prop part if you put that in the right location what should happen is you should go file new custom prop part and then when you open it you should be able to go file properties and your configuration properties should already be populated so that's step one in this process okay so step two in this process is we're gonna have to assign a location for these custom part templates to reside so you may have noticed that when I hit file originally and new that I have three tabs up here when SolidWorks open up opens up and one of them has my custom part and drawing templates that I use on a regular basis in this case we're gonna try to take the custom property part that we created earlier and we're gonna put it in a different location and we're gonna use the options in SolidWorks to do that okay so when going to the options we're gonna go specifically to where it says file locations now the file locations you have to click on this if you've never used this before and there is a ton of file references this is basically the mapping SolidWorks uses to find different types of templates different types of uh, tables etc etc but in this case we're focusing 
on document templates. So as you can see from my document templates, we have the regular standard SOLIDWORKS templates, which is where the custom part templates that I just made it was saved. And then we have a separate custom mapping to a folder that I use for all my templates. So in order to add the custom part template that we just created, you could go to this location on your computer. So use your explorer to find that location, copy the template that we created with the part name, and then copy that to whatever folder you want this to be mapped to. And in this case, I've already done that behind the scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add. And then we're going to go ahead and add the directory where it would show up and hit select folder. Now, theoretically, what this is supposed to do is that the next time that we open SOLIDWORKS or try to create a new part number, there should be another tab that links me to a new folder. So let's see if that worked. Yes. So let's see if that worked without restarting the software. Go to File, New. Oh, sure did. Okay, so we have templates, do me a solid, the other directory for my custom parts, and then the MBD default that comes with SolidWorks as well. So we can go here, double click, and this is the part template that we created originally in the SolidWorks directory that we moved into our own custom directory that we mapped through the options. And just to confirm, let's go File, Properties, and Configuration Properties. And you can see all of my custom properties that we put in earlier. So this broke down how you can not only create the part template, put it in a new location, but then also map it in SolidWorks so you have an access to a custom directory that you created for all of your part templates. Okay, and as with all previous videos, if you found this useful or if you learned something today you didn't know, then please like and subscribe. It helps us support the channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks, everyone. Cheers.